Since being named as the funniest person in America by Showtime back in 1984, Ellen DeGeneres is well known to have built her career as a goofy, straight shooting comedian best known for hosting The Ellen DeGeneres Show. DeGeneres promotes a be kind mantra on her show, which we all love, but recent reports have reported that the outside message does not match what goes on behind the scenes. The Ellen DeGeneres Show has relied on celebrities for years, having new guests on each episode to play games, promote their work, and join DeGeneres in stunts and segments. But it isn't always fun and games. More than once, the show has shifted from light and comical to awkward and tense. Today, we'll look at some of these awkward moments from the show. DeGeneres had Justin Bieber on her show in November 2015. On television, the two are typically seen as close friends, but their conversation was more uncomfortable than friendly on this episode. Before Bieber's appearance, a new paparazzi photo of him was released, showing the then 21-year-old nude while on holiday. DeGeneres displayed the censored version of the photo on the giant screen behind her, asking Bieber to explain what happened. Ellen DeGeneres set up a game to make fun of Taylor Swift's dating history when the pop singer appeared on her show back in 2012. While Taylor Swift was there to promote her new album, Ellen repeatedly claimed that Swift was in a relationship with Zac Efron, while Taylor shut down the idea each and every time. But the segment got more cringeworthy. DeGeneres put photos of Swift and different men up on the screen, instructing the singer to ring a bell when someone she wrote a song about appeared in a picture. Based on the opening moments of Hassan Minhaj's 2019 appearance on The Ellen Show, the interview seemed to be going really great and everything was going smoothly, with both the host and the guest gushing that they were big fans of each other. However, the interview took an awkward turn when the host totally botched the pronunciation of the comedian's name. No, Minhaj told her twice, before offering the correct pronunciation, saying, I don't want to do this on national television. Ellen then mispronounced his last name again, before correctly emphasizing the H in the name leading the comedian to explain that people had recommended him to change his name for when he started his career. During a friendly game of celebrity-themed Heads Up, Wendy Williams was said to describe the baby singer Justin Bieber without naming him. Wendy Williams said, As much as I want to not like him, I love his new song, and he is really cute. Some people say that he looks like you. When Ellen DeGeneres looked surprised and did not respond, Williams turned to the audience and added, I have heard that. You have never heard that? They say it in a good way. Before Caitlyn Jenner announced her surprise run for California governor, DeGeneres had her on the show to discuss a variety of topics, including same-sex marriage, obviously an important subject for DeGeneres, as she herself is a lesbian and is married to Portia Del Rossi. But Jenner is openly conservative, and during their conversation, DeGeneres pointed this out in a blunt way. Before coming out of the closet as transgender and changing her views, Jenner was against same-sex marriage. DeGeneres decided to challenge Jenner to see if her views really did change, and the tension was palpable. Nicole Kidman and Ellen took pointers from Chef De Laurentiis. However, the tension was evident during the 2017 segment of The Ellen Show. When in the middle of a risotto ball recipe, the chef referred to Nicole Kidman as the woman who can't cook. And then the remainder of the interview was quite awkward, and it was very clear that there was no chemistry between the actress and the chef. Nicole Kidman tasted the finished product and told her that it was a little tough. And instead of trying to keep things light and on track, Ellen spent the entire segment eating the old food that had been sitting out too long, failing to listen to Chef De Laurentiis and making jokes at both of her guests' expense. The video later went viral and inspired headlines like, Nicole Kidman, Ellen, and Chef De Laurentiis cook together, but no one has any fun. Ellen DeGeneres took former First Lady Michelle Obama to CBS back in 2016, but the outing devolved from a lighthearted and friendly segment to a tense trip. After putting up with Ellen's antics in the crowded store, which included dropping products on the floor as well as eating food without paying for it, Obama seemed to hit her limit when Ellen asked about putting her own face on money. 
When Ellen said she makes the world happy every day, it wasn't enough for Obama. You would have to have done something grand like Harriet Tubman, Obama said, when DeGeneres asked why she could not be on a dollar bill. You should have freed some slaves, she said, later adding, you know, you're really annoying. It's like taking a three-year-old to the store. Sofia Vergara and DeGeneres are typically regarded as close friends based on interactions they have shared over the years. However, DeGeneres and Vergara played a game that seemingly targeted Sofia's accent in one appearance. The interaction was humiliating, to say the least. Even though Katy Perry had been on The Ellen Show countless times before, Ellen DeGeneres still forgot her guest had been married and set up an entire game about finding the pop singer a husband. Do I have to get married again? Katy Perry asked at the start of the segment. However, we see that Ellen doesn't catch on. Ellen said, you aren't married. But Katy corrected her, reminding Ellen that she got married when she was 25. But that still didn't jog the host's memory of what Katy was trying to say. Ellen then asked, to who? And Katy told her she had been married to actor Russell Brand. Then Katy asked, remember you gave me wedding gifts on the show? then saying the word cool multiple times, when clearly it wasn't. There's no doubt that we have had to save the best one for number one. This moment has gone down in history. Dakota called out DeGeneres in an interview after the host claimed Ellen was not invited to her 30th birthday party. How was the party, DeGeneres asked the actress. I was not invited. But Dakota Johnson had a different version of this event. Actually, no, that is not the truth, Ellen. You were invited, Dakota Johnson replied. Dakota dipped back in history, recalling that Ellen DeGeneres grilled her again the year before about not getting a birthday invite. Well, guys, that's all we have for you today. Are you a fan of The Ellen Show? Did you know about these awkward moments from the show? Get involved and let us know in the comments section down below what you think about today's video. If you liked this video and found it informative, then be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Also, if you don't want to miss out on any new future videos like these, then be sure to click on the subscribe button and turn on the notification under this video so that you're notified the next time we upload a new video. Thanks for watching guys, we hope you have a great day today, and we'll see you in the next video.